All right, well, I'm, I'm driving home, driving home, for, driving home from work. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to record uh, my reaction to the Leafs game, so why not? Threw on the jersey and I feel good, I feel light. Uh, one, it was a, a good day of work, it's a Friday. Two, I watched the Leafs win in overtime against the Dallas Stars. And the best part of it was the Situation Room tried to screw the Leafs over again. Ah, uh -uh. not this time, because Nick Robertson says, "Oh yeah, brother Jason, I'm gonna get two tonight, and you're gonna get nothing." Uh, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you right now, uh, Nick Robertson's gonna be on the Leafs for the rest of the year, just by the way he he worked. I forget what it was, it was Fenwick, Corsi, whatever, whatever. It was like 65 something. I have no idea what it means, but I think 65 means good. Um, and he looked great. Absolutely great uh, playing on that second line. He worked his bloody butt off every single shift. And I I just love it. I love it. I can you tell I'm jacked up. Is that, is that, do you still use that term? Whatever. Um, yeah, what a, what a game. Uh, I was frustrated throughout at times. Uh, that first power play unit really uh, pissed me off. Uh, just kept yelling like, frickin' shoot it. Uh, Mitch Marner uh, made some really stupid decisions like throwing the puck into a pile of players when he could have just put it back up to the point or put it down low. He did some really silly passes. I found myself yelling at Mitch like a normally Justin Hall. Um, and then, you know, then he'll, he'll make a play where he holds on to the puck and he comes out the other side and he gets a glorious chance, but he gets robbed. We didn't even play Ottinger tonight. Anyway, um, yeah, okay, so Dallas scores first. And I'm going to be honest with you, it was a missed assignment by John Tavares. He saw Glenn Denning there, didn't go to him. It lands on Glenn Denning's stick. He shoots it through Samsonov, who I felt had a great game. Um, and they made it one nothing. Uh, then, you know, Leafs got a couple power plays. Uh, yeah, there was penalty misses. There was penalties missed by both teams. Leafs got the power plays that I felt they should have, so that was good. Um, first unit doesn't do jack all. Uh, like, you can tell Austin, Math Austin Matthews had a wonderful game tonight, or last night. Um, but, like, power play and everything, he was trying to find space, but sometimes you just got to keep it simple. Keep it simple stupid, like my coach used to say. Um, or keep it stupid simple, I don't know, but... They did. Sandy just fires it on net, goes to Kerfoot, he puts it, roofs it, top corner, and it's, or top corner, top in the middle of the net. And uh, it was 1 1. It was great. And then Robertson does his little magic thing. He does the NHL 23 where you come off the sideboards there and you shoot blocker side. It's literally the best way to score in NHL 23. And he did it last night. His first game, his mom's in the stand. She's wearing the jersey. She, she's got her, she got Jason's hat on for the Dallas Stars, but. You know who's, who's who's number one? Yeah, the 21-year-old, Nick Robertson. Yes, he's only 21, and he just turned 21. And he's a Toronto Maple Leaf, and he's a forward. Yes, Steve Dangle, he's a forward. Uh, so he scores, and that's great. And I think the Leafs are playing awesome. They take a penalty, uh, and let's just talk about the end of the game. Sagan goal to tie it up 2-2. Called no goal on the ice. Goaltender, incidental goaltender interference or whatever. Yes. Mitch Marner definitely runs into Samsonov. Yes, he was heading that direction. But say again, pushed with his left side. You can look at the butt end of his stick. He pushes Marner there. He makes contact with Samsonov. Marner can't stop. He gets kind of pushed into it. Samsonov loses balance and it goes in. Could have been going in anyway. Maybe. But, and like I saw Carlo Koliakovo on Twitter say, that's not goaltender interference. Yes, it is. It is. And you can see Dubis. I'm not even going to post a photo. I might. Who knows? It might be up there. It might not. Or he was just like, I don't know, said a couple words, finished off with the F word there. And I was like, that's the fire, Dubis, because we were all feeling it. Keith was feeling I was shit. It was shit. Let's be honest with us. Uh, and it sucked. And I was like, this isn't going to happen again. And then the Leafs, boom. Momentum gone. Dallas all over him. And then Leafs get the power play at the end of the third. Can't do anything of it. Can't do anything with it uh, in overtime. Goes four on four. That's okay. Nick Robertson gets out there. He's a little water bug. Jamie Benn comes down. It's a two on one or two on two, whatever. He, he sees it's Robertson. He goes, I'm going to attack this kid. He's a young kid. 
He doesn't play defense, even though Steve Dangle thought he did. Oh, no, he still does. It was a beautiful little toe drag by Jamie Benn, but he stops moving his feet. You think he's going to fire it right away. He doesn't. He wants to just carry it on. Nick Robertson with a second and third effort. Strips him of the puck. Goes the other way, and it's three on one. He drops it off to Matthews, who opens up. You can see he opens up his hip and his shoulders like he's going to shoot, and he just fires it right back to Robertson. One-timer goal, 3-2. Everyone's celebrating. Robertson doesn't even know it during the um, interviews after you know his first goal in the intermission. Then obviously after after the game, he doesn't even know what to say. He's so so excited, just like us Leaf fans. Leafs win three two. People might say you know it, it was like a must win game. A hundred percent, it was a must win game. That's how I felt, especially after losing to Arizona. Uh, it, it was a must win game due to the circumstances of what happened in that third period with the Sag angle. Uh, Leafs needed to pull that out because I had a feeling if they lost, there was just going to be lulls for the next few games. But they didn't. They played great. Samsonov looks great in the net. He made some good saves, some strong saves. Justin Hall didn't piss me off tonight. He played great again. Um, Sandine with a few blunders, uh, but I think, you know, he'll, he'll find his way. New pairing. They mixed up the few of the pairings, and that was really nice. Uh, Riley still needs to shoot the bloody frickin' puck. I wish Toronto had someone that could shoot from the point, like a slap shot from the point on the power play. Um, I think Riley can do it. I just, just chooses not to. They just need to shoot. That's my biggest gripe, I think, this whole time, uh, or this whole game, was just not shooting it enough. And still, they still put up like 15 more shots than Dallas. Um, but they could have gotten so much more and, uh, you know, get that traffic in. Um, other than that, uh, heck yeah, go Leafs go. It's, uh, what are they, three wins, two losses. And their losses have come to Montreal and Arizona. Montreal, who absolutely decimated Arizona. Nick Suzuki with that gorgeous goal. No, it wasn't the Datsuk goal where he flicked it over. It was not like that at all. That was definitely a shot. I would say it's more like a Nate McKinnon goal, to be honest with you. Um, but they dominated them. Leafs, they lose to Montreal. They lose to Arizona, but they beat the Dallas Stars, who were undefeated. They were 3-0. They're now 3-0-1. Leafs are 3-2. Big win. Bring on the next one. <laughs> Winning just feels so much better. It does. There you go. That's it for me. Have a great weekend, everyone. Go Leafs, go.